One of my favorite strategies is to buy a property and then just simply close on it and then resell it on the MLS. Now, here's why I like the strategy. Nowhere in the marketplace do you get the maximum exposure as much as the MLS. So if you think about wholesaling and you get a contract and you want to sign your contract, you can take that to a cash buyer list that you've created. You could take it to a Facebook investor group. You could take it to maybe some big services out there that have a have a big audience and they'll aggregate you know your deal and they'll push it out to a big list. There's some services that do that. But nothing has as much exposure as the MLS, the multiple listing service. That's where real estate agents collaborate and post properties for sale. The reason why is once it's on the MLS, it's going to roll over to Zillow, Redfin, Trulia, Realtor.com and everywhere else. It becomes public, which means it's getting the most eyeballs on the property. So when I buy a property, sometimes it's clean enough to where I can resell it retail, meaning that the ideal buyer for it is a homeowner. Sometimes though, it's not in enough of a good enough condition to where a retail buyer would be ideal. Like it won't pass an inspection, won't pass a mortgage, won't qualify. Also, if it's an FHA buyer, you have to wait 90 days because they have an anti-flipping rule. So it kind of limits what you can do if it's not a super clean, I call it clean, mortgageable, livable. If it's not that property and it won't work for retail, I'll still list on the MLS because I can attract a cash buyer there as well. So again, buy, close, take it down, relist it on the MLS. Well, I buy houses all over the country virtually. My goal this year is to do a thousand houses. So a lot of these I don't rehab or I do very minimal rehab. And so the idea there is I want to get in, I want to buy it, I rekey it, put a lockbox on it, do a trash out because that really helps because now I can take pictures and it's it's not a mess looking Maybe I'll spend a little bit of money doing like a punch list, like a few things that would make a big difference. And then what I'll try to do is I'll try to find a local real estate agent local to that area. How do I find a local real estate agent? Well, I know where my property is. And then what I'll do is I'll look at recently sold homes. So I'm going to actually do an example of this in a minute here where I bought this house. Uh, I closed in a couple of days from the bank and I bought it in Axis, Alabama, which is outside of Mobile, Alabama. And I don't know this area, it's rural, middle of nowhere. I have no idea what's going on here, but you know, I know I've got a deal. So I'm buying this property, got it for a big discount. It looks fairly clean. And all I'm doing is going to resell it on the MLS. So I found two agents. All I did is I went on Zillow and I looked at sold homes in Axis, Alabama. And I started looking for homes similar to mine. I started looking at what's going on. And I found an agent who sold a house literally a week ago across the street, listed for by an agent and sold on the MLS to a retail buyer across the street. So I'm going to call that agent. Also, I found another house that looks more like mine. It was a little more distressed, not that great a house. It sold like six months ago, so it's not recent, but it was in the same neighborhood. So I've got that listing agent. Now, where do you find these listing agents? It's right there on the on Zillow or Redfin or whatever. You, so I just Google that agent. That was the listing agent, not the buyer's agent, the listing agent. And then I basically have a conversation that goes like this. Hey, I'm an investor. I'm buying this house for cash. All I'm looking to do is quickly resell it. I'm not going to sit on this. It's vacant. I'm a quick sale, but I don't pay a full list, a list fee. I don't pay the full 3% commission on the listing. I want a, I want a discount. I want to pay a flat fee of almost nothing. And so then I try to pitch that agent on why it would make sense. And, and my pitch to agents right now in this market is, listen, you're not going to make any money listing my property. You're basically just going to transaction coordinate it. I just need you to shuffle the paperwork, take the pictures, put it on the MLS, let me know when we get an offer. That's it. Like you don't have to do much. And I'm easy to work with and I want to sell it fast. So it's not going to sit around forever. So will you do it for a thousand, fifteen hundred bucks or whatever? And I can usually get an agent to take it on. And, and again, my pitch is, it's a house that you get, it's exposure, the phones are going to ring, maybe a buyer will call about my house, and you take that buyer and you sell them something else, that's good business, right? So, you know, not all agents will do it, but some will. So I just call around until I find an agent that will do that. So what I want to do here is I want to show you what this looks like. I want you to see Jerry on the phone in action calling an agent and seeing if I can get that agent to take on my listing for me for a flat fee 
And again, the idea here is just quick turn this property, buy it cheap, quick turn it on the MLS, get the highest price I can and make 20, 30, $40,000 on a, on a flip without really rehabbing it or doing much to it. That makes sense. Okay. So let me call these agents right now. Let's see if I can get them on the phone and uh, we'll go from there. Hello. Yes. Hi. Is this Larry? Yes. Larry, how you doing? My name is Jerry Norton calling you because I've got a property that I'm looking to sell. Yes, sir. And I see you just closed on a property on Wilson. Yes. I actually am buying on Friday a property probably two doors down from you, from that house. Yeah. Across the road. Is that where it is? It's the auction property. Yeah, I think it's across the road, Jerry, if I believe. And yeah, I, uh, I'm familiar. I think I know the one you're, that, that you're going to buy. Yes, sir. Well, I'm buying that. I, sell it. I can sell it. I would love to. Okay, I'm an investor. I'm not going to do much. I'm going to I'm going to rekey it and do any kind of trash out, and that's it. Oh, I got you. I understand. It's pretty clean, I think. This is not a bad location on the one you're buying on Wilson Boulevard there in Axis. Yeah, a good location. Nice street, quiet little neighborhood. Yeah. So here's how I work with um, listing agents since I do a lot of properties is I, I don't want to pay a full commission. I'm easy to work on the list side, on the list side, on the buy side, 3%. But I like to do like a flat fee on the list because I'm super easy to work with. It's vacant. I, I'm not going to sit on it. Well, I'll drop the price till it sells. You know, like I'm just, it's more about exposure, getting the phones to ring. You know, like that's, that would be why you do it. Not because you're trying to make money on a, on a listing. So I guess if you're open to that, I'd love for you to take a look at it and, uh, and see what you think. I will. I close I Friday. Noticed, I noticed there's a lot box on the door there. I don't know the code. Hey, real quick. If you haven't tried PropWire yet, you're missing out. PropWire has changed the real estate game by giving you property data for free. It's the perfect addition to your real estate business because you get unlimited free searches and unlimited free property downloads. That means no more expensive lists, no more software subscriptions, no more paper lead services, just free data from a nationwide database of 157 million off market and MLS properties, all at your fingertips 24 hours a day. Now, if you're a wholesaler in Atlanta looking for vacant houses, we've got that. If you're a rehabber in Las Vegas looking for bake owned REOs, you're covered. If you're an agent in San Diego looking for listing leads, look no further. If you're involved in real estate in any way as a lender, landlord, or other professional, PropWire has the data to power your real estate business. So you should definitely check it out. Just go to joinpropwire.com to search and download an unlimited number of leads absolutely free. I've been in the house a number of times. Recently? Not recently, no. Okay. I think it went on the market when these kids bought it a few years back. Oh, uh, do you mind do you mind uh do you mind sorry Larry, do you mind holding a second? Hold real quick, hold on. I will. Hi Melissa, this is Jerry. Um do you mind holding a minute? I'm just on the other line. I'll try to get off. Thank you. Okay, one second. Okay, so when you went in it, was it how was it? Was it pretty clean? Pretty clean, yes. I think it had hardwood floors. Uh, awesome. It's on piers. Um, yeah. But the house was in pretty good, pretty good condition when I went in it. It's been a time flies, probably three years ago, I guess. Oh, well, a lot can happen in three years. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, can you get over there or when can you get over there? Just take a drive by, peek in the window. I, I guess what I'm wondering is, can you give me um, your what you think the price would be to sell that baby in 30 days? I'll do that today. Can I awesome. back on the number you called on? Yeah, this is my cell phone. If I don't answer, send me a text and we'll we'll talk again. It'll be a few hours because I'm I'm out in Baldwin County right now. But I, when I get back and, and and do something at the office, then I'll go up there and look at it. Yeah, let me know. Is this is this a house for a retail buyer? Is it clean enough for a retail buyer, or do we need to focus on an investor? You know, that's kind of what I need to know, and and what what you think we should price it at. You know, you can go what you call USDA financing, mm -hmm. and there's no waiting period to do that on an FHA. If you ninety days, you have a, you have a, a, a 
of, of course, but I don't think on USDA you do. Mm. I'll look at it and see what's best for you and give you the options, and I'll call you back in a few hours. Okay, thank you, Larry. Talk to you soon. Yes, sir. All right. All right, bye-bye. Oh, shoot. Hi, this is Melissa. Hi, Melissa. Sorry about that. I meant to, I hung up on accident. How are you doing? Well, thank you. Good, good. So I'm buying a property on Wilson. I noticed that you sold this summer a property. Oh, boy, I'll tell you real quick. I've got it up right here. John's Drive? Yes. 111.20? Yeah. Mm -hmm. In the same town. What I'm doing is I'm just buying this property and then want to resell it. So I'm going to rekey it, do any kind of trash out. And it's a bank property, so it, and it's vacant. I just am buying it cash and then just want to resell it for market, whatever the as is market value is. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, sure. So I'm just kind of looking for an agent that does that area, knows that area, and could you know take a look at this property. I closed Friday. I've got someone um, scheduled to come in there and, and rekey it, put a lockbox on it do any kind of clean out, you know, if there's a, if there's a minor list of some things that need done, that's fine, but I, I don't want to rehab it. Sure. It looks pretty clean. So nice street, nice. The house across the street just sold literally a week ago for one fifty, but, uh, but it, it was like brick and looks, looked pretty nice. I sold this house to these people. <laughs> Small town. Yeah. Several years ago. It's a cute little house, but it's old and it's settled and, you know. Yeah. So the deal with me is um, I'm an investor and I buy a lot of properties. In fact, I have like five other properties coming up in Alabama, nothing close to here, but, uh, but I do buy a lot. And so what I try to do is create uh, like more of a strategic relationship with, with a local listing agent. Gotcha. And then um, I pay a flat fee. So you don't make much, but it's more about the exposure and I'm super easy to work with. Like I'm going to, my goal is to sell in 30 days. So we figure out the right price. We play around, we drop the price till it sells. It's vacant. It's I'm easy. It's just, there's no hold, there's no hand holding. I don't need you to really do much, get it on the MLS, you know, send me offers that come in and kind of that's it. Okay. So tell me what your flat fee is. Usually it's like a thousand bucks, fifteen hundred bucks is all. And what do you pay the other agent? Three percent. So if you if you bring the buyer, that's fine. Like you yeah. get the three for sure. So you pay me fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah. Put it on the internet. Yep. Take some MLS. Yep. And just just be a transaction broker. Pass Basically. Pay. Yep. That's it. I've got a I got a guy that's going to rekey it. Uh, maybe you know somebody, but I'm I'm trying to find someone that can go rekey it, do any trash out. I don't know if there's anything left behind. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe if there's like a like a thousand dollar punch list, that would be super helpful. Like that's fine, but I'm not I'm not doing carpet and paint and rehabbing it. Yeah, gotcha. As is. Yeah, just as is. Whatever it goes for, let's move it. When you look at it, maybe tell me this won't go retail because of issues, and now we need a cash buyer. It's not in a flood zone. It's it's a decent little house, like I said. Yeah, I mean, maybe tell me, hey, here's what here's what it could go for retail, but there's these issues, or maybe tell me, hey, you know, you really want to find a cash buyer. Are there investors that buy and hold there? Like, is it a strong rental rental market? In that area. Yeah. They have their superstar school districts, and that house is not in one of them. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's you know the the schools are kind of a distance from that particular area for the kids to travel every day that kind of thing yeah yeah when do you think you could get by there and take a look at it probably go by there in the morning how are you getting in well i closed friday and then i'm trying i'm trying to schedule someone to go um rekey it and put a lockbox on it just let me know i'll work the weekend so okay um, do you have some local local guys that can do stuff like like that and like trash outs and stuff. Do you have a guy that we use that does trash outs? That'd be great. I'll text you over his number. Okay. Yeah. If you text me his number, I'll call him and see if we can get him over there like Friday. Well, that sounds good. I know it's vacant, so you could at least go over and, you know, take a peek at it. Sure. Okay. Let me know what you think. This is my cell. If I don't answer, text me and we'll, uh, we'll talk about it. Thanks, Melissa. Okay. You too. Bye-bye.